All right, I'm presenting my laryngeal model that I made out of stuff in my house, as you can very clearly see. Um, so we'll start with, I used a toilet paper roll to make the trachea, and then I drew on the lines to make the tracheal cartilages. Next, I have the cricoid cartilage with this is blue ring right here that I used. It's a single cartilage made up of hyaline tissue and is attached to the thyroid cartilage through the inferior horns. The thyroid cartilage is what we're going to talk about next, and it is this green piece of paper right here. I tried to make it similar to the actual thyroid cartilage in the shape. Um, it is the largest unpaired cartilage in the um, larynx, and it is also also most commonly known as your Adam's apple, which is that prominent piece right here. Most commonly, more prominent in men. It's still in women, just less prominent. Next, we're going to talk about the epiglottis, which is right here. And the epiglottis is composed of elastic cartilage, which allows it to move up and down, which we're going to talk about next. Its downward movement to closure is a biomechanical effect of the hyolaryngeal movement, downward bolus movement, and tongue-based retraction. Next, we're going to talk about the hyoid bone, which is right here. This is our hyoid bone right here. Um, it's an important site for muscular attachments such as suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles, and these are muscles are important for aiding superior inferior movement process. Next, we are going to talk about our arytenoids, which is right here and right here, the white piece of paper. The arytenoids are paired cartilages that sit on the superior margin of the cricoid lamina, and they are hyaline and elastic tissue, and usually they are a pyramid shape, which is what I was going for. Lastly, we have the corniculate cartilages, which is this gold little piece right here. They are a paired cartilage as well that sits on top of the arytenoid cartilage, but have no role in voice production.